Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are here in Winchester, Tennessee at the Phoenix Boats Factory. Uh, I love my annual trip to the, the, the factory here because I get to pick up my new boat every single year. And this year we've got this beautiful boat. Look at the colors on this thing. So instead of doing blue, and black and silver we did just essentially just kind of a uh a silver flake then a really shiny silver flake for the for the pinstripes and then kind of a black coloration i don't know all the the specific color names that they have but i think it looks really good and it's going to be one that matches my truck my black truck so I think it looks good. It looks great. I mean, we're going to be wrapping it pretty soon, so it really doesn't matter what it looks like, but it's definitely a sharp looking boat, especially when I go to sell it. Um, but sort of changed it up a little bit. So the last couple years, I felt like I was picking up the same exact boat. Like I literally wasn't even getting a new boat. It just felt exactly the same. I just ordered the same color scheme and I ordered the same boat, the same hull, the 921 Elite. And this year, I decided to go with the 920 Elite. We're kind of going against the grain here because everybody is, um, you know, with forward facing sonar and everything being very dominating on, uh, you know, all circuits, uh, most people are going offshore, you know, so, uh, you know, having a bigger boat is kind of more advantageous in a lot of situations, but for me, I'm still a shallow water guy. That's what I love to do. I love shallow water power fishing love looking on you know uh, on forward facing sonar um as well but it's just not my deal so i just wanted to to kind of go down in size i'm getting a little extra room in the garage which is not a bad thing and uh and it's a little bit more of a nimble boat around you know shallow cover boat docks and things like that and that's kind of what i was looking for with this boat but another reason i'm not going to be shy about this uh or beat around the bush cost was also another one you know even though it's not that big of a, a cost difference it's a couple grand you know a difference between the 20 the 920 and the 921 and for me right now uh you know with with my family's priorities uh lowering cost was a big factor so we actually ended up not adding some of the the uh the features that we've we've added on to previous boats like the heated seats Okay, we don't have the heated seats on this one. I am gonna miss that on my 921 Elite that I've got in the garage right now that I need help selling. I'll give you $500. If you help me sell that boat, I'll give you $500 as a finder fee. Uh, so please help me find a buyer for that boat. <laughs> but uh, that one has heated seats. This one does not. I'll miss it early season, but other than that, don't really need it. Um, and we also did carpet instead of the, the, the sea deck. Now, the sea deck was actually really nice, um, but I do like carpet too, so like, I'm not, I'm not bummed out about having carpet instead, so um, yeah. And the reason why I went with the, uh, the Elite still, is, as opposed to like the uh, Elite 2, is I love the center rod box, or not rod box, but center box here, very spacious it's one lid and uh it's just a cavernous you know container for all of my tackle boxes and i prefer that style the single lid versus the the dual lid or the you know the separated um container there so uh that's kind of you know the reason why i like the elite and also the elite has uh shorter gunnels so the gunnels are shorter than the like the the PHX um, and uh, and some of the, the the other holes that they have now, um, and uh, so I like that for like flipping and pitching. I feel like I hit the side of the the gunnel a little less uh, with that that lower gunnel, and it actually just be maybe a, a higher deck too. I'm not sure how they compensate whether they just lower the gunnel or they raise the deck, but it's about an inch difference so and as you can see here it's pretty bare bones got no trolling motor on the front uh and no power poles on the back we don't even have batteries in here um no electronics nothing so we got a lot of work to do um of course we're going to be making our annual 
uh, you know, trip up to BassBoatElectronics.com, and which is also now Ultramarine too. And so we're going to be installing all this stuff, um, and we're going to be making some big changes. Honestly, um, I, I can't really talk about it yet, but it seems like I'm making big changes every year as far as like my electronics setup. Um, I was pretty happy with you know the setup that I had this year, but uh, you know as happens in 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 business things do change and so this next year we're going to be switching up the electronics a little bit uh, as well as the trolling motor the trolling motor we got a word from um, a, a a company that we're going to be running a, their new trolling motor I'm going to let you guys guess which brand it is uh, it's a I'm really excited to run with it um, it's a brand I've actually been working with for a long time but just not on the trolling motor side. So really excited to try that one. The Ghost was great, loved the Ghost, uh, but I'm really excited about this, this next one um, as well. So anyways, that is the boat, man. It is, a, it is a sexy looking boat, I'd have to say. And it's a little bit smaller, which we'll find out if I actually like going back to a, a 20 footer. But anyways, guys, if you have any questions at all, um, let me know. Um, we're we're going to be doing a lot of, of different things to this boat that we haven't done to, to previous boats. So uh, if you have any questions about how we're going to rig it up, definitely drop those in the comment section below. So when we go to BassBoatElectronics.com um, and, and we're doing content on the rigging of this boat, we can kind of walk you through those different aspects that you're curious about. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. Let's get this thing back home. Uh, we got to, I'm, I'm deciding whether or not I want to take my old boat out of the garage and put this one in or just leave this one outside covered up. I think that's probably what we're going to end up doing because I want to keep uh, the old boat nice and clean for the next owner. Again, 500 bucks, finder's fee, if you find somebody to buy my boat. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Uh, also, check out that link for St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital if you're looking for a place to donate this holiday season. That is the best uh, charity that I can possibly imagine um, that obviously has, uh, you know, uh, that we've had a lot of experience with this year. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much. I'm going to see you out on the water. Make sure you trust the process.